Hello everyone, Sachin this site. In this video, I am going to talk about how Google API use or to protocol for authentication and authorization. In last video, we we fetch data from Excel sheet using by Google Excel sheet API, and in backend this process is happening. And that process I am going to talk about how Google API is able to fetch data from Google sheet. So let's see in this demo how it is working, how this protocol is working. So I have captured few points. Let's go through all the points. Then you will get more information. So first point it is saying Google support common or 2.0 scenario such as like those for web server, client side installed, and limited input device application. So here it is saying Google support or 2.0 scenario. Okay. Now next point. In order to invoke Google API, we need to open or 2.0 client credentials such as the client ID and client secret. We all already generated client credential in the last video. So in last video, we have you know created this or 2.0 client ID, and when you open this right, it will give one client ID as well as you know couple of information. So those things we have you know captured uh, in first video. How we can create this credential, and we are having you know uh, a three process: one API key or two point zero client IDs, other one service account. We created or two point zero client IDs, and this is what we have recorded. And same we have used in in the code, and we have captured a JSON file inside resource folder, and we are able to hit the Google API. All right. So it is you know talking about the same point. In if you want to you know. In book the Google API, then you require you know client secret, and that we have already captured in the last video. All right, let me move forward. Uh, in in the same point, it is now it is saying like client application request an access token from the Google authorization server. So basically, it is saying we require access token. So that file doesn't have the access token. It is having some different detail like you know some secret client IDs. So if you want to hit Google API, then Google API required access token, so these things it is generated using by that file. Okay, now next point access. So when the token is generated from the response, then extract the token and send the token to the Google API. Then you will get the response. So you know it's very simple, right? So basically, this uh, you know credential or to manage your client IDs, right? It is having you know some data. Okay, some keys and information. What are those? If you want, I can I can showcase you. Let me open this, and so it is having client ID, it is having project ID, it is having auth URI, it is having token URI, it is having auth provider third URL, and client secret. So this information, okay, from the code, right? Internally, those information I used to get the access token. Okay, fine. I am closing. All right. So now, if you go this document, so these are two link. So one is a first link. If you want to, you know, know like how or to work, right? So you can open this link. And if you want to see the live demo, how how it is generating access token based on the information, then you can watch this this link. Okay. And now let's see the diagram. How things are happening. So this is a protocol flow. Okay. I have captured this from the Google page. And here you can see the you know step A. Authorization request it is happening to the resource owner, okay? And this request is going. Then authorization grant happen and it will return, okay? So when authorization grant is happening, right? It will go to authorization server. From authorization server, it will return the access token. When you you are having the access token, then you can you know you can hit any API or you can invoke any API. So this is a client and server, okay? Abstract protocol flow. And if you want to see the actual flow, how things happen, okay, from the end user. So this is the end user, and you are requesting for the request token, okay. So for that, you will, you know, you will do like user login or consent. So basically, uh, we have used that client secret. We are sending that file from that. It will request for the authorization code, and when it requests for authorization code, right, then exchange code for token. Exchange code for token will, you know, uh, this process happen. And when this is complete, right? It will, you know, token response. It will, you know, return the token. And that token you can use into the Google API. When you are having the access token, then you can hit any Google Sheet API, respective API. So here, in this case, there are a couple of flows. 
so when this flows different flow like you know i've seen right lots of website right when you are trying to log in it is you know uh, saying you can you know auth authenticate from the google so when you are clicking right it will you know open one pop up in that pop up it will select your email id and when those things happen right so basically those process happening in, in back end right it will give an access token then you are able to log in for that particular website so this is the one flow okay and now if you go on into you know the first link so i have already opened this link if you see in this link right use or 2.0 to access google api and all the information has been captured go through it and read you will get lots of information okay so whatever i am telling this information might change in future okay so like refresh the you know access token if necessary send the access token to an api so this is a web server application how things are happening in web application okay so this is one other one is the installed application so this is you know one flow another flow client side javascript application and this is a different flow okay and if you go down and one more flow you can see here okay and one more flow this is for the jwt token okay fine i think uh, it is good you can you know if you want to you know get more knowledge how or to is working then you can you know go through this link i'll add this link into you know the description of the video and go through it and read more now fine let's see the live demo how how this things will work so basically this is a one one web page if you want you can open like developer.google.com and auth playground so basically uh, here you can see how auth to work so if you remember right in i think uh, first video i have tried to you know uh, you know uh, print the excel sheet data using by this google api okay so it is giving you know this one credential or 2.0 api key so this is a one way and like if you want to see like how access token so basically in internal they are handling but how this access token like how how it is going to help like access token in order to access this api so this is the api if you hit directly right it will through the error you can't hit directly right you required some information in you required access token that is a main thing you require access token if you want to hit this api okay so that is very important thing so this is the one api we know this api url is a get request and where we need to pass express seed id and range range could be you know seed name or like you know different cell like a1 to v1 something it's up to you like which range you are going to select all right so now i am opening you know this you know playground web page and in playground there they have mentioned you know all the api but i am not you know buried all the api but my focus should be you know google sheet api so let's search google sheet api so this is a google sheet api okay spreadsheet b3 google sheet api okay so i am opening the first link so google sheet api version 4 okay okay let's see this spreadsheet api i am selecting this okay or if you want you can select all okay it's up to you and these are the api which i am you know going to authorize api so when i click right authorization and it is asking this pop up right and it is sending you know this you know code for authorization there are, there could be you know couple of ways it it might send you know how you have set the settings in your system okay so let me add 610 Seven one four. Okay. Fine. And I am saying let's allow. When it allow right, it has generated authorization code. You can see here authorization code. And you know couple of information here. Okay. So when I see like exchange authorization code for token. So if you see right exchange code for token, this is the step. Okay. So this is what it is going to happen now. So when I click on here, right, it will give you know access token as well as a refresh token. You can see here. Okay, it came very quick and now gone. Okay, so details is there already. 
So now it is saying this is the you know URL request URL. You can mention which API you are going to hit because all things are placed. Access token, okay? It is already already captured, okay? From this process. So now if I say this is the API I want to hit this API, and if you want to hit this API, then you need to you know pass spreadsheet. So I am you know taking this ID for the spreadsheet. this is a spreadsheet id and now let's talk about the range so range we are having two option one you can pass the sheet name and other one actual range that i'll show you so now let me hit this request and you can see here i'm able to read data student name gender class label home and you know student name gender if i take here student gender class you can say extracurricular activity okay now this is called the source status code source status code you can see here okay next is the andrew andrew this one you can see here okay and all information has been printed here all right now let's talk about the range what i'm saying i want you know this one two one two here so this is called a1 a1 to f4 a1 to f4 okay so where what i say here i want a1 to f4 so this is what we can mention here the range okay let's hit the request now you can see here okay headers are same so one two three and this header four okay so last one is a basketball if you say right this one okay basketball four and it's called the anna female anna female yep so this is how you know this uh, authentication is working in the back end and where it is generating access token and that access token it is you know use uh, by api and for all the api in go uh, all the google api which is required access token and uh, for if you want to generate access token then you require you know the credential credential could be in the form of the api key or uh, 2.0 or service account any form but all those things it will generate the access token okay so this is how it will work or or 2.0 and you can access the google sheet api Thank you. That's what I want to cover in this video. Please hit the like button if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you. Happy learning. Have a good day. Bye bye.